This is blog, blog the art blog. A discussion of taboo, controversial, and singular topics. I am the keeper, David J. Landry. Let us assume that no two artists have the same creative process. I would not naturally expect you to know mine, so let me walk you through my typical process. Normally, I am inspired by a notion or a concept in which I, over the course of days or even weeks, develop into a more concrete piece of art. Then I begin to construct the art in my mind. I play with different materials, and I walk through the entire creative process and develop the piece of art theoretically. I construct and deconstruct this piece of art entirely in my head and build it up until it's what I consider to be, you know, the masterpiece. Then I step back and I analyze it and consider if there's any way that I can reconfigure it or rethink the idea to make it more complex, a more concrete idea. Eventually, I'm satisfied with how I see it in my head. And so I move on to the next stage, which is developing this piece of art in the real world. Sometimes I'm able to use the same materials that I intended, and other times I have to be more flexible. In the end, what I end up creating is typically close to, but not quite as good as what I envisioned in my head. Somehow, I'm never quite able to achieve the same satisfaction with the physical art that I got with the theoretical piece that I had in my head. So why even create the physical art? What if the greatest sense of accomplishment comes from how the art is envisioned in the mind, isn't it best to just leave it there? But then no one would ever see it. Are you suggesting that we all just sit around and imagine art? That sounds like a really empty world, void of all art and quote-unquote culture. Is that why you do art? for other people, even though in the end that leaves you with less satisfaction with the final result? I don't know. I suppose I always thought of art as something to challenge and inspire, to better our culture or to help us understand ourselves and each other. Wow. Okay, Mr. Philosopher. So, if you create a work of art and nobody ever sees it, has it failed to reach its point? Again, I suggest, isn't it better just to leave art at its height of accomplishment, theoretically in the mind? Maybe. Hmm. 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 That's it for this week. Blog Blog will be back next week with another singular discussion. If there are any topics regarding art that you would like discussed on Blog Blog, let me know in the comments. And, as with all social media, comments are not a place for hate or trolling. Doing so will earn you a dismissive pat on the head, followed by, It's so cute that you believe that. Until next week, Remember, no matter what color you paint them, the trees are unhappy.